Hi FlossTube! It's Pam. This is my FlossTube channel, Stitching in the Land of Good Enough, where I talk about all things cross-stitch, um, mostly about the things I've been working on and the things I plan on working on, and maybe some life updates or things I'm reading um, stitched in between. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you all have had a fantastic week since the last time I saw you. Um, things have been pretty good my way. We're starting to open up a little bit here in Rhode Island. Today is the, by the way, today is Monday, June 1st. It is the first day of June. Not sure how that happened, but here we are. Um, so June 1st is the first day of phase two opening, reopening in Rhode Island. Um, so it's the week that we could get haircuts again if we want to. And my hairdresser called me last week and she's like, Pam, you have an appointment on Friday. And I said, hmm, um, I'm okay. I think you can reschedule me. I, so I have been growing out a pixie cut since late fall and it's finally like here. And so my hair was super short. It's getting a little longer. It's in this horribly awkward phase that no amount of haircuts is going to make right. So I figured there have been people who need to get in for their coloring and all that. So like people who really need to get into the hairdresser that had been canceled. So I said, you can give my appointment away. It's okay. We'll reschedule in like another month because nothing is saving this at this point. Um, so yeah, there was that. Um, but other than uh, the world opening back up a little bit and my hair styling reschedule, um, we're good. I've been getting a ton of stitching done. Let's talk about that because that's why we're here. Stitching. Okay, so what did I work on this past week? Um, last week was the last week of May, so it's the last week I did um, Stitch Sania, which was... Uh, Stephanie from Lindy Stitches version of Stitch Mania, where you picked, you could pick one project to work on the whole month, um, or you could um, pick different things. You had to meet goals every week. And if you met your goal, then you could do a new start on the weekend. So if you want to see my, what I worked on all of Stitch Sania, you can watch the last two videos. So this week, my goal was to finish, what did I need to finish? I needed to finish Boys and Bugs by Country Cottage Needleworks. Adorable. Um, I had, which I did, I finished it. I have a finish, yay. So I had to get all, everything below the grass done. So all those words in the little bottom border and then I had all of the, the little back stitching and the French knots. There were something like 33 French knots on this. And I understand that that's probably not a lot. It felt like a lot to me. Friend, I hate French knots. Like I hate, I have to watch a, a YouTube video to figure out how to do them every single time because I, they hurt my brain. And all of these little ants, where are they? The little ants. They're, they're little French knots. And um, I don't know if it's because I stitch in hand. So like I never had that tight fabric. I struggle with, I struggle with French knots. So like you should, <laughs> I should have taken a video of the, the setup that was involved in, in getting them done. Like I had to, I was, I had to have my legs propped up with the fabric stretched across them. And it, it was, it was contortionism to get the French knots in. But anyway, they're cute. They're cute. So I got little ants and little ladybugs and little dragonflies. And then I did, hold on, let me find it. You, it's probably not going to show up. But let me see if I can get it to sparkle. The little firefly in here, I, can we see the little sparkle? Little sparkle, where are you? Anyway, I did, oh, there was a little bit of sparkle. I did. Uh, the Krynic, the blending filament in there. It called for the same yellow in the bumblebees, but I felt like you weren't going to see, it was, it's a firefly and fireflies butts glow. So it needed to glow. So this got done. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, my boys are no, no longer A, sharing a room and B, young enough 
where they're gonna want this hanging in either of their rooms at 20 and 16. So at least it's a finish. Um, I'm gonna, my, I might see if, if somebody I know with, with young boys wants it and then I'll just pass it along so it won't get relegated to the back of my closet hanger with my probably 30 other projects that I've finished and never done anything with hanging there. Um, so I finished that this week. And then what, oh, so that meant I got a new start. And my new start was super exciting. It's in my Nikki's Notables project bag. It was Hildy's Brew by Bendy Stitchy. Super cute. I love Hildy. She is like my favorite thing ever. She's a little witch. She's got her little three bat friends, one of which is really a vampire, whose name is Brian, who's her boyfriend. Um, I, super cute. So <laughs> you guys are going to probably laugh at me. I stitched this in the center because I'm normally a center starter on fabric that was entirely too big. So yes, I know that I've wasted a ton of fabric and it is what it is at this point. I can't go backwards. So this is where I got, this is on 14 count, picture this plus, um, echo, echo. Yes. And so here's, here's where I am. I've got Hildy's like a tire, but no actual, it's just her clothes are floating there in outer space. She's not actually in them yet. And then I got the cauldron and the little cauldron smoky stuff, which is that, um, DMC Etoile. So again, I'm probably not gonna be able to make it sparkle, but it's sparkly. So all of this is, has got sparkles and I, lo I love Etoile. It gives a sparkle without being hard to work with. It gives an in-person sparkle. It doesn't really always give a camera sparkle. And this was my first time stitching with Threadworks, this like super variegated, this border. I had a blast with this. I did it first. Well, actually, first I did Hildy's hat because that was in the center and then I moved up to the border. But I'm almost always a center starter. But I, that border is so fun. So again, way too much fabric for a little itty bitty design, but you know, it is what it is. I'm okay with it. It's fine. So that's how far I got. I had such a good time stitching on this this weekend. Um, I didn't really want to put it down, but I have June plans, which we'll get into later, which does not involve stitching on Hildy until the 13th when she can come back out for some dark 13 stitching. Um, I did want to, I did want to show, I, Thank you, Michelle Garrett, for calling for this floss because I probably never, this is the Threadworks, I would never have picked this up. It is totally outside my comfort zone. It was unbelievably fun to work with. I don't really know how to store it. I'm probably, I think I might make like a thread drop out of, it's too much to bobbiny. It was 20 yards, so it's too much to bobbiny. Um, so I think I may make a thread drop out of like a Halloween card that I've got hanging around and then stick it on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm again, not super crafty. So, but I, I really, really, really enjoyed that. Um, what else did I work on this week? Oh, I worked on, so on last Monday on Memorial day, it was the 25th of May which meant it was Mary 25 stitching. So I get out my ultimate cross stitch Christmas magazine. It is uh, volume 23 from 2019. And I am stitching four ornaments for my three of my four sisters and my mother. And I started, they are called Winter Wonderland and they are designed by Emma Congdon and they are not each individual chart doesn't have its own name. So I've already stitched the one with the church. And so I started the little sledders. They're so fun. So let me get that out. And I am stitching this on 32 count 
light blue Lugana. And I have this in my Stitch All the Things project bag. This is, I talked about this last time, one of my favorite possessions. So here is, so this was the one I've already have done. And this is what I started on the 25th. So this is how far I got. I got quite a bit done. I have a house and a little sledder dude and some trees. And I'm not really sure what this is, but I got some trees and a house and a sledder dude done. And I was happy with that. So that'll come out again this month on the, um, on the 25th again. I think when I get to July, I'll, I'll do, I'll just start all the ornaments because then I'll start to get a little nervous about finishing them. But for right now, I'm okay with them just coming out on the 25th of every month. Um, and then I worked on, so I worked on the ornament on the 25th, which was the Monday. And then I worked on Boys and Bugs Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then I finished it Thursday, which meant that I could bring Secret Garden back out. So I am doing the Secret Garden um, Sal by Stitching Book Club. And you can find them on Instagram and on Facebook. And then on Etsy, it is Sapphire Mountain... Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts, which is where you order it from. So it's the Stitching Garden Book Club. And I finished part one. It's so cute. So cute. So this is getting stitched on 16 count chocolate raspberry Ada. So last time you saw it, I just had the words done. So Friday I put in the key and I put in all the little flowers along the edge there. And I can't, it so fun. I can't wait for the next part. I am having such a good time with it. And then every morning, I wanted to show you guys this every morning when I get up and I have, I get myself my coffee and my breakfast, and then I get to read a chapter of The Secret Garden. And I, so I just picked this copy up from my library. Um, my library is doing this thing where you can call them and let them know what you're looking for. And then they check it out for you without you going in. And then they leave it in the lobby and then you go and you find your bag with your name on it and you get your book. So that was kind of, it was actually very fun. And so this is the copy they had and it's it has the prettiest, I'm going to show you the, just the prettiest illustrations. Here's a good one. Like it just makes reading the book so much fun. It's way better than the paperback copy I had as a kid. So every morning I do a chapter, they're short. I'm having a blast with that. Really enjoying this project. Again, that's the Stitching Book Club. They're doing Secret Garden. I think in the fall, they're going to do Frankenstein. And I think I heard in the winter, they're going to do A Christmas Carol. So I plan on doing all of those as well. And then the last thing I worked on this week, I apologize, this one's super crinkly, um, is I work on this every day. My Granny Square Temperature Stitch Along by Carolyn Manning Designs. So every day you stitch... A little granny square depending on the high temperature of the day so i am all caught up this is what this is what i've got so far and then from monday through last night this is this bottom row right here so this was monday and this was yesterday so a nice little strip of warm days last week um in my first video, I mentioned, because I did have somebody ask me about this recently, I mentioned that I was out of 310, so I wasn't quite sure how I was going to get the rest of the black borders um, done on this. And I did find a skein of 310 I had floating around in another whip. So I pulled it out and I'm using it for this. So I've got enough 310 to get me probably through June at least. Um... And then I have been using the generic 310. I, I don't know what the brand of the floss is. 
it's not, I think it's like one that you just get in Joann's or Michael's or whatever that's not DMC. Um, my mom had a bunch of those and she gave them to me and I've been using them. I feel like I, I use them on Hildy's Brew and you can't tell it's not DMC. It's a little scratchy to work with, scratchier than DMC, um, but it actually has better coverage. So I'm kind of enjoying that. And I mean, it gets the job done. I don't think it's really going to matter. And I have a lot of that now, so I won't need 310. I think I will, 310 will be an issue, I'll, th will be an issue if I can't find it anymore, um, because I hadn't been able to find it, but I'm sure in the, as time goes on, it will be back in the stores. So, um, I did, oh, and I did. So since my first video, I did make a trip to Michael's and they did have one skein of 310 at the Michael's near me that was open. So I did grab that too. So I have like a skein and a half of 310 in my life right now. So the only place that I'm worried about using 310 versus the ones my mom gave me is in projects I've already started. Because just in case, I mean, black is not always black, like dye lots, even in 310 can be a little off. So I just want to make sure that if I started with 310, then I'm continuing to use DMC in a project, but a new project is getting my mom's and that is what it is. I feel like I'm super rambly and maybe not making a ton of sense this week. Um, I apologize for that. I'm hoping that I'm coherent, but one never knows. I don't think I've had enough coffee this morning. Or maybe I've had too much. It's sometimes hard to tell the difference. Okay, so that is what happened last week. So we are June 1st, which is a new month, and it's Monday, so it's a new week. So we've got a bit to talk about for what's coming up for plans. I did want to point out, this is one of my favorite things. This is my Orts jar. It's one of those wee yogurt jars. And all month long, I stick in all, now, I stick in all my threads. I want to point out that I am not a floss conserver. So if I finish off a length of thread and I've got like this much left, it goes in the, I'm not saving that sometimes even like that much. I'm not going to rewind it on my bobbin. It'll go in the Orts jar. I just, I, you know, especially with DMC at like 52 cents a skein, I'm not super concerned if I waste a foot of it. It's, I mean, I don't know. It's not all that on the, in the grand scheme of things, it's not all that important to me. Um, that being said, I hate to start and stop. So I will get as much out of a length as I can where that makes sense. Um, so that I don't have to like get out a new length of it. But like on my, on the, on the temperature chart and I'm only stitching a little, I'm not parking threads or anything because I never know when or where I'm going to find where a, a color is going to get used again. Cause I can't predict the temperature future. So I, every day those colors get started and stopped. And sometimes I'll have like that much left. I'm not of like the orange of the, that I used the day before it goes in the orts jar. So anyway, the point being, I love, I love this jar. Before I discovered A, that there was a thing called orts and B, that you could put them in a little jar. They literally landed all over my house and then I would have to sweep and vacuum them up because I'd be too lazy. I would be too lazy to keep them in a nice neat pile while I was stitching. I literally would throw them on the floor. This is embarrassing. I would throw them on the floor and it would make everyone in my house crazy. So now I've got my little orts jar and at the beginning of every month it comes out and it goes in a big mason jar and then I, at the end of the year, I'm figuring I will have a bunch of this stuff. And then I'm thinking maybe I will do a pillow and I will stuff it with my orts from the year. Is that a thing? Has anybody done that? Um, am I crazy? Can you not stuff a pillow with your past orts? I, I don't know. So anyway, today that will go in the mason jar and I'll start all over. Um, what do I want to show you? Okay, so coming up for June. I don't have a lot of plans. I talked last video that I was going to get out and start stitching on again my 
a year at Hawk Run Hollow. I don't remember who does. Oh, carriage house samplings, Kathy Barrick. Oh no, this one is actually Marty Barrick. I think that's her sister. So a year at Hawk Run Hollow. I have stitched January, February, March. I, well, I did not finish March and I skipped April and May. If you want the story on that, you can watch video number two. So for June, I'm going to be starting the June block. When I started this in January, this was my, Jan and this is, sorry, backtrack. It's getting stitched on 40 count. Uh, picture this plus legacy. When I started this on January 1st, my plan was every single month, I had to finish the block before I could stitch anything else. And at this point, it's just, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want this to be the only thing I work on all month if that's all I have time for. So I think I'll have little mini goals that I have to meet every week on each block. Um, and then if I meet those goals or I get close to meeting those goals, I can move on to other things because I just, I don't, I just don't, <laughs> I just don't want to stitch on, on it all month because this, this 40 count is actually, it's a really tight weave and it takes me, I'm a little slower on it. And then sometimes it takes me three and a half weeks and then I've only got a few days to stitch other things. And then that makes me sad. So June is going to go under the March block. And I think my plan for this week coming up is to get the border done and then the words along the top which says, how do I love thee? Oh, that's nice. So that's my plan for this week. I'm not, I'm not, it's not a very, um, what's the word I want? I can't think of the word I want, but I, I, not aggressive, but not an aggressive plan. That's not what I want. Oh my gosh, I'm having like one of these 40 year old moments where I cannot think the word is there. I know what it is. Okay, we're gonna move on. Yeah, that it's, it's it, my brain is on overdrive right now trying to figure out this word. And in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, that's gonna happen in June and this week coming up. The other thing, things I have. So obviously when, um, the secret guardian releases part two, that gets worked on. That's not till this Sunday coming up though, June 5th or 6th, something like that. So the other, and then I think I'm just going to stitch on things that move me, whatever I'm feeling at the time. Um, I got a bunch of whips that, Oh, actually we're going to talk about it when I talk about haul, but there is something that I, I think I'm going to start pretty soon. Um, but the other big thing we're going to do in June is I, on the solstice, which is June 20th this year, I am going to start night walk down by the blue flower. I love this. I am thinking when I stitch her, I might change her hair to like a reddish auburn color. Cause I kind of like the people in my pictures to have the same color hair as me, but I might not, I don't know. We'll see. I, anyway, I absolutely love this. So I have some orders out for fabric for this. Um, I really wanted to stitch it on the call for, but I can't find it. So that's that. So I have some, so I placed some orders on Etsy for some fabrics. I have picture this plus Ren and I think that it will work. It, I really wanted like a purpley color or a gray color, but I mean, if worse comes to worse, I will start it on Ren. Um, I'm really hoping I had, oh, I don't remember what the fabric is, but I think it's going to be a good match. Um, so I'll show that when it comes in. It's not, in, I was hoping it would be in by now. It's not in. Um, anyway, that's my plan for June 20th at the end of the month for the solstice. If anybody want, if anybody has this and they want to start it with me, let me know. We'll sell it. Um, if not, I'm going to start it either way. Uh, so this, that's it for plans. And then that brings us to, Oh, one of my other plans. I'll show this next week. 
Maybe I'll even have, so I have a little, um, I want to say it was Bent Creek. I meant to have this ready and I don't know how to pause and stop a video. So that is what it is. But um, I have a little project I had stitched for my dad years ago and it's got a fish on it and it says like, you're the best dad or something cheesy like that. And, um, and then I never did anything with it. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to finish it for my dad for Father's Day. So that's my plan. One of my plans for June. Remind me to show that. <laughs> well, you're going to be able to remind me. I'm going to reminding me right now to put that on the docket to show next week. Maybe it will even already be FFO, but probably not. Um, so I did get a little bit. I got one little bit of haul I ordered from Amazon.com. In the first video, I mentioned that I loved these floss cable rings and I didn't know where to get them. And um, Erin Two Martini Stitcher commented with a link where she gets hers. So they're these little floss rings and they like twist together and you can link them and make them bigger. So it was like a pack of 20 in all different little colors. Super excited. I can't, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go through all my kitted projects and, and put all my floss on these. I'm super excited. So these came in. I will post the link in the description box below if you are also intrigued by these and want to play with them. Um, uh, description box. I did get last week's description box done. I'm learning the things. Um, so but I don't usually have time to do them till the evening. So this will go up. This is morning. This will go up as soon as I'm done. And then I will post the description box tonight. So if you cannot wait for tonight's description box to be um, added, if you go back to video one, um, the link is in Erin Two Martini's Stitcher's comment. Then also, things that I added in this week. Um, Beth Twist from Heartstrings. So we know that there is, um, our, our country's going through some troubling times right now. Um, and Beth Twist from Heartstrings Samplery came out with a chart. It's a free chart. I will put the link in the description box when I get to it. But if you don't wanna wait, I think if you find her on Instagram, I think you can link through to to get it to get the chart there as well so i'm going to try to get that up close i love this so much so i have placed an order i had abs i had one i had one of the called for it's all chartered in weeks i had one of them um there are 12 12 colors i had one so i did place an order with one two three no i didn't i placed an order with down sunshine lane um dot com and for all, I'm going to be stitching this as soon as they come in. So I'm super excited. Again, this was a free chart from Beth Twist. So I added that in. And then also, oh shoot, I for, I meant to write down the organization that these proceeds are going to, and I forgot. I will put it in the description box. Um, Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy, is so from today until June 6th, seventh maybe don't quote me on that it might be june 6th it's to the end of the week all of 100 percent of the proceeds from her etsy shop um so it's her pdfs she is donating to an organization that is um trying to do away with police violence um so I'll post that link. I'll post the organization in the description box so you can see where uh, Michelle G is sending that money. Um, it looked like an amazing cause. So this morning I got on and I got three, I got on her Etsy shops and I got three of her charts that I was planning on stitching either way. So I thought now is the time to buy them because good cause. Um, so I got, trimming the tree. Silly. He's so silly cute. I can't even love him. And then I got the other Hildes because I love Hildy. 
So I got Hildy, what is this one? Hildy Strawberry Patch. She's on a ladybug. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's on a ladybug. I can't. You're supposed to make this into a berry. I don't know because I, I'm going to try to, I, I might try to see how it's, I don't know. I, my plan for all these Hildies is to have them in the same spot on my wall and swap them out kind of seasonally. So I'm not sure how that works as a berry. I might try to convert it into something that maybe can, can get framed, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't, that's in the future. Who knows what'll happen. And then I also got a very, um, Hildy Yule and that's, that's her boyfriend, Brian, the vampire bat. I can't. I can't. I love this. It's thinking cute. All right. So that was all of my haul this week. And I think that's it. This was a fast one. Yay. Um, so I hope you all have a fantastic week. Um, stay well now, especially now that kind of the world is opening back up a little bit, just be safe for your masks. Um, and I will see you guys next week. I, I'm sure I'm forgetting something. And if I am, I'm sorry. I don't know that I'm forgetting it. There's something like niggling in the back of my brain. Like I'm forgetting to say something. But I don't know what it is. If I remember, it'll come out next week.